Hey, what's up you guys, Custom and Graphics here, and I, today I'm bringing you GFX Quick Tips Episode 2, and this is for Extrude Nerbs in Cinema 4D. So, a lot of the times I notice that when I try and bring in maybe a work path, or add Extrude Nerbs to any sort of object, um, if the object isn't like along the plane on the bottom, you sort of get this horrible sort of... Hang on, I'll just show you real quick. Pull that up to 80. Like, when you do it, and you try to rotate, rotates around the center axis and you don't want that it makes it really hard to work with it's really hard to do so I'm just going to show you a quick way to get around that and um, it's really simple and doesn't take very long at all so yeah here we go so basically what you got to do is for each path you got to work out where around the center of that is so once you got our strewed nerves we're just going to go to our move tool and path one is this sort of M so we're going to aim for the middle, so we're just going to go back onto our extrude nerves and bring the axes up to around the center. And then if we go and add our path to the extrude nerves, you'll see that it rotates around the center. Now that makes it a ton easier to work with. So if you try to do an intro or something like that, oh shit, what did I just press? Um, so if you try to do an intro or something like that, it makes it so much easier to work with, it's ridiculous. So, I didn't even want to do that. So then if we go to path 2, you'll see it's the sort of the middle of this, it's this sort of G shape, the bottom of the G. So if we go to extrude nerves and just bring it to around the center, that will do me. So now we'll drag path 2 onto there. And I'm just going to go through quickly and do all the rest. Okay, so I've finished it up now, and you'll see that each one rotates around the center. So if we wanted to sort of uh, give this its own sort of style, rotate some of the text, we can do that pretty easily without having to worry about it being around some sort of axis on the bottom. And um, yeah, so anyway, that's it for this guy, this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you find this tutorial useful. Uh, don't forget to comment and like the video if you do like it. And um, until next time, guys, peace.